Ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you guys today about what it's like to be a Dodge Charger owner. For those of you that don't know, I've got a 2015 Charger RT. I got this thing uh, fully loaded when I bought it, so it's, uh, it's pretty damn awesome for me. And essentially, there is not a time of the day when I'm on the road that somebody in a Camaro or a Mustang doesn't want to race me. And and here's the thing is I don't care about racing your car. And it's not it's not just limited to Camaros. It's like listen, you pull up next to me, you've got a little import. I'm sure that thing has, you know, you swapped it out, put like a vet engine in it or some crazy shit. But like I'm not I'm not trying to race. I drive a sedan. This is a four-door vehicle in which I am cruising comfortably. Okay, yes, I have a Hemi in here. I've got like 380 horsepower in this thing. I, I don't care. I just bought it because I liked it, you know? And and the thing is, is everyone has to flex their massive cock. They are a massive cock when they pull up next to me in this thing. And what I like to do to them is I like to pretend like I want to race. You know, I, I look at him, I grip the steering wheel. I'm like, yeah, you ready, daddy? Like, you ready, daddy? And then, like, we're going to take off at, like, a stoplight or on the highway. And then I just let him gun it. You know why? Because that man obviously has LDS. Little dick syndrome is an extremely real and serious condition. And I'm here as a normal guy, okay, to just let you know it's okay. It's okay if you have signs of LDS at, at an early age. Most of the time, it's 45-year-old men who work at an office job that need to release all their tension in a rental car, okay, that they're on a trip for. I don't know why I'm slowly sounding like Donald Trump now or Dr. Evil at this point in the day. It's going to be huge. It's going to be tremendous. It's going to be fantastic. But the other spectrum of driving a black Dodge Charger, okay, with nice rims on it. This is the deal. They came stock. I like them. People think I'm a drug dealer, okay? When I pull into my girlfriend's neighborhood, everyone looks at me like I'm dropping off the nearest dope batch. It's like, you know, I, I'm not. I'm, I'm literally, I, there's donuts in the car. Okay, if, if donuts are my dope, okay, I'm a dope addict. I fucking love donuts, donuts, donitas. I'm sure that's a, a fake Spanish donut brand that I just made up. And that being said, why? Why are those the two stereotypes? It could be because I wear snapbacks and have a beard and kind of look like the white ice cube, but that's, that's not me. I, I am not boys in the hood. I am, I am rich homie Laquan. I am Jordan Payton. I'm a guy who just is as non-intimidating as it can be as a human being until you piss me off, then I'll bite your face off. Like, for real, I will bite your face off your face. Like, you know? That being said, I just I just wanted to talk to you guys. I wanted to keep it real, drop a vlog. It's been a while. Um, I love you guys. Drop a like down there in the in the in the little like area and, and drop a comment and let me know what, what your thoughts are. Like, I'm just trying to drive and have a good time, man. Now there are occasions where when they pull up in like a four-cylinder, I'm like, I'm I'm gonna drop your shit. Like you're you're in a dot or Dodge Magnum. It's like, yeah, bro, let me race your RT Magnum. <laughs> It's a cool car, but you know what's going to happen. And I know what's going to happen when I pull up next to a vet. I know what's going to happen when I pull up next to a four-cylinder Honda that's stacked out. You know what I mean? It's just, we, we win our battles and we lose our battles. Drop a like. Hashtag suck it in the comments below. And uh, have a phantasmo day.